For those wondering who the young lady was on the screen as things were going on, it was gold, it was Olympic gold medalist in Rio in wrestling, Erika Tosaka. Paying very close attention to this fight here. Level changes, look at, stances are low. Her stance is low because she's worried about the takedown. Joey, see how low her stance is? Yeah. She's almost in like a freestyle, you know, staggered stance. She knows Murata's main goal is to get this fight down on the ground. Yes. But oh. the most important thing about a wrestler like that is she doesn't care about her striking. You want to go down on the ground? Go down on the ground. Good right. job there defending by Nakai. Oh, and an overhand right there. The distance is closing here, Joe Ward. As you take a look yeah. here, Nakai's getting a little closer, keeping her head down. Oh, landing a left a little right there. A very awkward movement. No, she keeps she keeps trying to go to that body with that rough, right punch. You gotta wonder if Murata's inviting this. You wanna come closer to me? I'm gonna take you down to the ground. Yeah, you're right about that. She's flat footed, she's moving forward, she should be on her toes more if she's gonna be in that low stance. She's mixing. She's mixing it up a lot. She's mixing up the different feints. Down. Oh, and a nice shot there by Nakai. Nakai's striking looks very, very well. I mean, very technical. You know what I'm saying? She's moving, her distance is good. Well, as we know, it's not her first rodeo. She's been around the game for a very, very long time. I wonder if Murata looks a little confused right now. Wasn't expecting to see this. Now, she's only gone. You know, it's, it's, we're, we're, we're approaching the midway point of the first round. She only, she's only gone for one real takedown, and she's eating punches. Punches to the face, punches to the body. <laughs> Or could this be a strategy, Joe Warren, where basically Murata saying, you know what? I'll take you down just yet. You're gonna get tired. You're eventually gonna get tired. I'm the younger fighter. Oh, what a nice little sprawl there by yeah, Nakai. She was I, ready for that. I think you're starting to see, you know, this is a game plan by both women. Um, you know, one person wants to make sure that her level change is low. The wrestler's having a hard time getting into that lower stance. Two minutes, under two minutes to go here in the opening round here. Side Games presents Ryzen Fighting World Grand Prix 2016. It's the ladies. Kanako Murata on your left. Rin Nakai on your right. Very tactical fight here. Very technical. Basically still not necessarily just sort of feeling out the distance here, but being smart about what they're doing, not taking many risks. Murata definitely not taking too many risks in this fight here. It's almost like she's giving up this first yep. round thus far. Yep. Murata, I think she needs to make, push the pace to try to get this takedown. Push her into the, into the ring, make this more of a wrestling match. Nakai isn't throwing with too much power. She's throwing no. volume, she's throwing numbers. She's keeping it out there, and a nice setup there by Murata with the right, and then to the double. And she seems to be doing a very good job defending this great wrestler also. Less than one minute to go here. Joe Warren, what does Murata need to do to score this takedown? She needs to make sure she's putting the pressure into it and control, uh, well, she just lost it, but she needed to control both, both legs, get her hands locked. Now we're in a, a completely different situation. She needs to throw it, she's way too high, but she's got both legs and she needs to extend this body and control position. Nakai wasted no arms. time getting both those hooks in the minute she was able to get Murata's back. She jumped at the opportunity mm -hmm. to secure it. Both legs in, 25 seconds left. See if she can extend her and get under that neck. She's in bad position right now, but it's control and she's definitely got the takedown. Kanaka Murata 
Just 10 seconds left in this opening round here. This will likely end yep. in this manner unless something crazy happens here, like an armbar submission. I don't think a rear naked choke would be able to finish off this round. There we have it. The round comes to an end. On my unofficial scorecard, Joe Warren, I am giving this to Rin Nakai. I agree 100%. That takedown, I think, uh, maybe locked that round down for it to end. Now, if you're in Murata's corner, what advice are you giving her? I'm gonna tell her to continue to, to keep up that game plan. You know, I think that the level changing and her staying in that stance has definitely been helping. Now here we see here, basically Murata was working that takedown, doing her best there. Nakai doing a fantastic job defending it. And as we can see here, Erika Tosaka, Goal, Olympic gold medalist in Rio in wrestling, paying very close attention to what is happening here. Yep, we saw her. She's she's very focused on who's winning this fight. Seconds out, please. Seconds out. Here we go. Round number two. Kanaka Murata. Ridnakai. Will there be a passing of a torch here tonight? Nice. Rin stayed in such a good uh, low level stance for a wrestler. She's not in, you know, the wrestler's not able to get to her. And that's what we're seeing. We're actually seeing a little more punching this round than the last one. Yep. See, definitely here, Murata picking up the pace here, using her angles, getting out of there, and a good knee landed there by Rin Nakai. Rin Nakai's coming out a little slower than last round. Ladies in a clinch position right now, exchanging knees to the midsection, Joe. This is where I think, um, oh, you see a little foot inside sweep here. Over the neck to choke. She needs to finish this takedown from here. She needs to power forward. She needs to get back down on, onto the mat and control position. Are you speaking of Nakamura? Yes, I'm sorry. Oh, a nice knee landed there by Rin Nakai. Oh, oh nice. good timing there. Are you surprised that Murata's having a difficult time trying to take down Rin Nakai? Yes, I'm very surprised Murata's not getting the finishing those takedowns. She's getting into the takedown, but she's not finishing the takedowns. It takes a lot of energy out of a fighter when you're going for that hard takedown and you do not get that finish. It's a confidence killer also. I've always wondered whenever I hear that it's a confidence killer for a wrestler when for years and years and years, it's all you've done. You've done it. And you, but you weren't always successful in doing so. So why is it a confidence killer? Is it because you are not competing against someone that you consider on your level? Yes, I, I believe a wrestlers, they get in there and they believe they're in a different different level than these fighters. And they all always agree uh, or believe that they're gonna finish the takedown. When they get that takedown stopped, right here you're seeing, she needs to, yeah, but, but you know, Rin needs to push that head down to get her hips back. You know, she's going for that choke and she needs to push that head down and drop her hips. Now Nakamura, excuse me, Murata, is sitting there in a situation where she's still trying to go for the takedown. It feels like nothing on her neck, though. And then she just shrugs her off. Yeah. Crowd, very appreciative here in Japan. They're very appreciative. Everyone's very excited to see this fight. She's pushing her punches now. We're in. Two minutes, less than two minutes ago in our second round here. Murata needs to do more here, in my opinion, Joe Warren, to try and take this from the judges. Yeah, Murata, she needs to push the pace. You know, I mean, I, I believe she's staying in a good stance and keeping her back to the center of the cage, but she's not doing anything offensive. Oh, there's a nice little right there. Is there blood coming from the nose, Rin? Well, definitely Murata's bleeding. 
You can see it on the left side there. Mata keeps going for that right to the There's body. There's another right over there. Right over the top. Oh, and a nice uppercut thrown there by Morata. We're about to start to push the pace a little bit. That's what we wanted to see in the beginning. But she's got to be careful. Pushes the pace on a wrestler, and it's a timing double leg. Caught her with the more. One minute to go here. One minute to go in the second round. I think this, this round is up in the air, don't you think, Joe? Could go either way, but I'm gonna give it as it stands right now to Rin Nakai because he's scoring damage. Oh, see, she didn't finish that takedown again. I'd like to say I'm surprised that Murata is not able to get the takedown, but this is a veteran in mixed martial arts and Rin Nakai. She's been around. This is not the, for her first turn around the block here. This is not her first rodeo. She's pretty much seen it all. <laughs> Making these uppercuts. <laughs> they're, they're both waiting for something. <laughs> oh, nice job there. Throw by Rinda Kai. Oh, she oh, drops her with a right. With right oh, there right you at the it. bell. Right at the bell. Again, I believe she has stolen the round there. I've got her up two rounds to nothing on my unofficial scorecard. You're, yourself, sir. Yeah, I think it, uh, the fight's been real sloppy. You know, I, I'm not really sure what the refs are seeing. I mean, the officials right now are judging, so I'm not 100% sure where that ro those rounds are going right now. It could be up in the air, I believe. Right there, she landed that nice shot. She keeps going to the body and then changing to the overhand. Then, boom, she lands a right here. Oh, not Drops her at the end of the round. Right at the bell, too, Joe. Right at the bell. Again, if you are in Kanako Murata's corner, what are you telling your fighter? I'm telling her push the pace. You know, she's she's doing half shots, okay? So she's she's not level changing and she's not pushing the pace. If she's using her jab more, level changing, she's gonna get she's gonna get the person to de to defend the takedown and then you get into a scramble and that's where she's good at. And what about for Rinda Kai? Well, Rinda Kai, I believe she's doing a great job right now. I believe I keep my back to the center of that uh, cage. I keep that low stance and keep my jab out. She's taunting her to take that shot, too. A very unorthodox fighter in Rinnakai with some of the feints that she's doing. Like you said, she could be baiting her. Baiting her, saying, here, look where I'm at. Try and come at me with your takedowns. Yeah, but I don't think that's what she's doing. I mean, I think she, a lot of wrestlers, what happen is they focus so much on striking because that's what they think they're not that good at, that when it comes into a wrestling match, they haven't focused enough there. A great job defending that takedown by Rinda Kai, and she actually circled out as best she could before she got trapped by the ropes there. And now it is Murata wasting no time, trying to keep the clinch, trying to work her position here. And a great knee landed by Rinda Kai. Good takedown, taking her back. She needs to throw those legs and get underneath the underneath her arms. She, oh. She's got that problem. underneath. This is a bad situation She's under for Kanaka chin. Murata. She's gonna... This is almost done here, Joe. There's the top oh, right there. Yeah. Great job by Rinda Kai securing the victory. There will be no passing of the torch tonight. That's called the sad tap. When you know you can't get out, it's nice and easy. It's like, oh, please don't do this. And you have to tap. You know, it, that that's me. I just take a deep breath and go to sleep there. I'm not tapping. You're not the first fighter to tell me such information. What's the point of tapping out? I'm going to sleep, but Sometimes it gets under there, and I'm also wondering if it is also a case of frustration. Frustration to say, you know what, I couldn't get this takedown, I couldn't do anything versus her. Now she's got me in a choke. You know what, I want out of here. I think you hit it right on the head. I think she was frustrated. She kept pushing the pace and couldn't get it, and now she's getting taken down by someone that's a less wrestler than her. We talked about it, kills your confidence. Now she's on her back. She's on her back with Look the that choke underneath that chin. And yeah. Oh, man. She's very sad. You see, if she didn't want to tap, she got stuck. Still young in the sport. Yep. Lots to learn. Mm -hmm. This will not be.